Hello everyone. Uh, I am Vidhit Chitkara. I uh, participated in Google Summer of Code in the year 2018 and 2019 with an organization named Public Lab. Uh, in this video, we will be discussing about the timelines for the upcoming edition of Google Summer of Code that is GSOC 2021. Now the official timelines uh, are already published on the Summer of Code website, so you guys could uh, view on that uh, website and we will also be discussing what all things we should do uh, during this time period to give ourselves a good enough chance to be selected for this program right so the first important uh, time period according to me would be from january 30 to february 20 2021 during this time period the organizations are looking to apply uh, for google summer of code 2021 and by this we mean that uh, the organizations will be very active during this time period and we could use this opportunity to contribute to these organizations and by contributions i mean that we will be making pull requests uh we'll be reporting issues and we'll be uh re reviewing pull requests of other fellow contributors right ideally we should have chosen one organization in which we'll be contributing to but if that's not the case we need not worry we should spend around a week figuring out that single organization in which we'll be uh, which we'll be contributing to in the future right so we have two important things during this time period one we would have chosen a single organization two we would have uh, started contributing to that organization right now the next important time period according to me will be from february 20 2021 to march 10 2021 now february 20 uh, will be the deadline for organizations to apply for google summer of code now, which means that we could safely assume that the organizations will already have a list of ideas uh, which we'll be working on potentially and this idea list will be uh, public and will be available to us. So we could view uh, those ideas and uh, we could choose one of them to uh, in, on which we'll be making our proposal eventually. Right. So try to choose a single idea and make architectures. Uh, flow diagrams and uh, all those stuff uh, which will be good to uh, assist you for making the proposal right what i personally did was that i chose a single idea and made a discussion issue for that idea there i discussed the idea with the fellow mentors and uh, we discussed what all things we should do what all things we should not do and the architectures and all those stuff uh, which gave me a lot of clarity about that idea and helped me making a good proposal i also uh, use around 30 percent of my daily time to do this stuff and uh, spent around 70 percent uh, remaining time to make contributions because i feel uh, contributions are e equally important uh, as uh, the proposal right so to sum it up for this time period uh, again we have uh, two important things one uh, we would have chosen a single idea and uh, we would have made a lot of architectures, flow diagrams and etc. which would eventually assist us to make the proposal and second we would have uh, continued making uh, the contributions and we would have scaled up the contributions as well uh, for this time period. The next important time period according to me uh, is from March 11th uh, 2021 to March 28th 2021. Uh, Ideally, Google advises us that uh, we discuss our ideas with the potential mentors and the organization admins during this time period. But if we follow the above uh, timeline, we will come to know that we are at a good place at this point of time and it will take uh, only around a couple of weeks to now build a great and uh, well thought through proposal. So make sure to do that. and. Uh, Make sure to give ample of time uh, to make the proposal. I gave around 80% uh, of my daily time to uh, make a good quality proposal and uh, spend the rest 20% to uh, make the contributions as I usually did, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, so yeah, this uh, time period is just for the proposal and uh, now comes the most important time period according to me that is the student application period which is from March 29th 2021 to April 13th 2021. Uh, 
uh, we should ideally not wait for uh, the 13th of April that is the deadline for the student application period to submit the proposals uh, I submitted my proposal around 30th of March which was way ahead of this uh, deadline so uh, this is something that we should take care of and during this time period there is one important thing that we should scale up our con uh, contributions a lot that is because organizations prefer contributors who are willing to contribute uh, for a long period of time or even after google summer of code so by keeping the contributions up we you uh, we usually convey this message that yeah we are uh, ready to contribute uh, for a long time to this uh, to this organization right so these are the things that we sh uh, we should take care of uh, during this time period and even after this time period uh, till the results are announced we should be in touch with the organization we should uh, keep contributing uh, reviewing the prs and making issues and basically being in touch with the organization right so uh, that's it for this video guys uh, hope you got a good idea about the timelines uh, for the upcoming edition of google summer of code and be sure to subscribe to our channel uh, for more such videos thank you for new programming updates and videos subscribe to coding ninjas channel